uh, how did you guys, you know, form each other, you know? How did it all start? Well, I, I'm not an original member, but I know the original bass player, Billy. I think he went on a trip to England and saw some, saw the dam. He came back and freaked out. They started the Dickies, and it was pretty much that that simple. So, uh, so how, how long did the how long did it take for the Dickies to get famous? Gosh, I don't know. I think they were famous right away because they were they were the first American punk band signed to a major label. So they were like famous as soon as they. Dickies come up with the name Dickies. Real easy. Do you know that thing? Uh, some people wear it underneath the sweater, and it is called a Dickie. Oh well, yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all it is. That's good, man. Uh, another question too. Uh, I, I, you know, when, when, when was the thought of you know dressing different than the other punk bands? Okay, that's a good story. The first tour I did with the Dickies, Leonard and I are both email, always checking our email all the time and checking the Dickies website. Somebody on the website thought it'd be a great idea if the new bass player dressed like a bear and they wanted to dress like a dog and do questionable things with me. And Leonard flipped out and he's like, you got to get a bear suit now. So now I'm, this is, I'm stuck with it. Right on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, about two random questions. What? What Star Wars character you would kick in the nads? <laughs> uh, anybody from the, the, the latest three ones, right? <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. And the second one. Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Oh, let us see. Uh, what was the other one? Go back in time. Oh. Uh, have you seen Bike Club? Yeah. Okay, uh, if you were to go back in time, what historical figure you would fight, pick a fight with? Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> or Benjamin Franklin. One of the <laughs> uh, uh, that's good. Uh, thank you so thank much you. for this opportunity. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for that. show man I really loved it you know you guys are awesome you guys are pumped, man, to be here and, uh, and uh, I'd just like to say you know for questions you know a uh, couple, you know, couple of you know usual questions you know sure, but sure. it's for my viewers too yes uh, of course you know the casualties you know how it began you know how did it all start the casualties to tell the story of the casualties I probably need to write a book because it's a very long story which has little clicks, little parts that needs to be explained to be understood. Yeah. So to make a long story short, I got into pump 30 years ago. And the casualty started 20 years ago. And the casualty was actually the moment a rebellion of what was happening in New York City at that time, which was uh, the pump scene at that time in New York got mostly into drugs. Yeah. Everybody was doing very heavy drugs. It was ridiculous. So me and my friend of mine decided to get away from that punk and decided to start what the old punk was, back to the roots, kind of. Yeah. I used to have dreads. <laughs> and I shaved up my dreads, got a mohawk with my friend, and we started a little crew, you know, listen to our music with the radio on the streets, which was the New York style. Always carry the radio. Yeah. And little by little, number multiplied. And all of a sudden, it became a band. And it was our own crew, our own people, and it was never supposed to be. It just happened. Life happened. 
guys made the cash of this. Right on, man. The cash of And how long did it take for you guys to get, you know, get up there, man? The well known. Oh, well, the cash of this was never supposed to be outside New York. Yeah. And, uh, the band all of a sudden was having friends coming from other states. And they started coming from Japan. Because the band name was spread. <laughs> Maybe because of the way we look, very outrageous. Yeah. We were young kids and all of us all the way outrageous. <laughs> but we worked. We worked and we were very lucky to find jobs the way we look. With this washer. You know, I come from a very low income family. Yeah. And it's like day to day to be, you know, sort of making. Yeah. And when Paul got discovered Paul, the lyrics, I, I feel like energy, you know, like yeah. life. There is life, it's hard work, you know, yeah. hang out with friends, there's people like me. Uh, I always give out random questions. Um, sure. For example, uh, which, which, which Star Wars character you would kick in the balls? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I haven't seen the movie in a long time. Who would I kick in the balls? I don't know. Chewbacca. Nah, Chewbacca is cool. I like Chewbacca. She would kick Chewbacca in the balls. Who would I kick in the balls? Let's see. <laughs> I'll probably look, look, look Skywalker, because he's a pretty boy. Yeah.